Do your kids enjoy role playing with toy masks like these? Then you know how they can be a challenge to store. They're hard to find in bins and slide off of shelves. The best way to store masks? Hang them! In this video, we'll show you a solution on how you can store all your masks in a way that lets your kids use them easily for more fun, keep them in shape and make them last, and help your kids pack them away easily to encourage their independence. Hi, I'm Tidy Mommy. As a mother of three boys, I realized that our toy masks I've collected over the years and have become a problem to store. We tried putting them in many places, but nothing really worked until we found the best solution. Hang them! This makes them easy to reach and keeps them in shape. When we used to put them in bins like these, the masks at the bottom would get crushed, bending them out of shape or cracking them. And it also made it hard for the kids to find the masks they wanted, especially those at the bottom of the bin. So they would simply dump them all on the floor, making it hard to pack away later. Hanging them displaced their entire collection at a glance, so finding the mask they wanted was simply picking it up. No more rummaging! So if your kids have, say, only 15 minutes of playtime before dinner, they can use more of that time having fun and being creative than wasting time looking for broken toys or missing parts. We used to put them on shelves too. That worked for the first two or three masks stacked one on top of the other. But more than that, they would slide off, putting them in danger of cracking or breaking. Then the kids would ask to buy new ones to replace them, wasting our hard-earned money. But hanging our masks instead also kept them in shape. This makes them last and enables the younger kids to also enjoy the older kids' toys without having to buy new ones. But don't just use any kind of hook or the masks will slide off, putting them in danger of cracking again. The secret? Cable organizers. They work not just for cables but for toy masks too. They're made of silicone or rubber that you can stick to your wall and will hold on to your masks nicely without scratching or damaging them. Just pull them out to use and simply push them back in to store. Easy! And no more falling masks! But before buying them or any kind of hooks, take a look at your entire masks collection first. How many do you have? And how many do you want to hang? This will let you know how many pieces you need to get. Cable organizers are inexpensive and widely available at your local office supply store or Amazon. So you can get as many as you need. Once you have all the cable organizers you need, we recommend removing the adhesive it comes with and replacing it with a stronger mounting tape like this. They're inexpensive and available at Amazon. Put a piece of the tape, remove the backing, mark your chosen spot on the wall up to the child's height, then stick it to your wall. If you have the space, it's better to hang them horizontally than vertically. This makes sure that your child can reach all of them. Once you've reached the end, you can create another row below. Then hang all your masks. Plastic bins like this also tend to pile up, making it hard for kids to get to the bins at the bottom without a grown-up's help. But with cable organizers, you can hang them horizontally up to the child's height. This keeps all their masks within reach, letting them use the masks and pack them away themselves later, encouraging their independence. And because they don't need to dump everything on the floor anymore, it's easier to pack away just the one or two that they used. You can even use label stickers 
to remind kids where each mask should go. This will work especially when they haven't learned to read yet. Be sure your masks are hanging from the top like this. They should be flat against the wall and facing forward. Not with the straps like this or they will sag and face down. Most masks with level tops will hang securely on the cable organizers. But some with more slanting tops like this one might require additional reinforcement to keep it from sliding off. So here at the top, you can simply stick a piece of felt pad. They're very inexpensive and have the best price at Amazon. Cut off a strip and stick it to the top part of the mask. Then, kids can hang it on the cable organizers just like all the other masks without it sliding off. Consider also if your collection is still growing. Keeping them in plastic bins will let them accumulate in different colors and sizes, giving your kid's room a cluttered look. But with cable organizers, you can just keep adding more of the same as your collection grows, giving your room a neater look. For alternatives to cable organizers, you can check out these low-cost wig stands. They work well for masks and are lightweight and foldable, and not as bulky as headstands. Line them up on a shelf to see all your masks at a glance, and keep them in shape too. But this may take up more shelf space for masks. You can also check out these mask hangers by TigerToreArt.com, a maker of handmade masks. These mask hangers are made of recycled wire and works with almost every kind of mask by hanging them by their eye holes. But you may need to cover the exposed pointy ends, say with plastic tubing for example, for your kid's safety. A similar alternative on Amazon already has rounded ends. Not only can it be hung as a mask hanger but also placed on a shelf as a mask stand. But it's made of metal and costs more. Which solution to use is up to you. Displaying all your masks at a glance and keeping them within reach will allow your kids the freedom to experiment and get creative. Plus, of course, they can simply reach for them and pack them away themselves later, encouraging their independence. So I hope this video has given you ideas and inspired you on how you can organize your kids' toy masks collection. What solution works best for you? Share with us your mask organizing hacks. Until the next video, this is Tidy Mommy. Organizing for maximum fun, making toys last, and encouraging independence.